guys. So just seeing my 2x2 to 7x7 tutorials might not be enough for you to know how to do the last two centers on bigger cubes. So on this video, I have the 8x8 and the 9x9 and I'm going to show you how to do the last two centers on there. And by that point, you should definitely be able to do the last two centers on any n by n cube. So here we have the blue side. So this is where the green side is going to go. So we're going to focus on the green side. So what I'm going to try to do is form... Remember, I'm going to form it outer like this and then on the other side. So I'm going to try to form a bar here. Um, the first bar is generally quite easy. It's something you should know how to do. So we form the first bar. Here's four pieces of the second bar. And I can join this fifth one by hiding it, bringing this here, and unhiding it. And the whole bar is formed, so I can insert it. So, for these first three bars, you just have to remember the hide, bring, unhide, and the up, out of the way, and back down trick. Or it can be down, out of the way, and back up. So let's try to make... I see these three pieces here. I can make a bar from there. You will generally see that kind of thing. So this piece... If I hide it, I can rotate this here and unhide it. And that makes this 1 by 5. And this last piece, I just rotated it two times so I can rotate this up, out of the way, and back down. And now I can insert it. And now I've formed this half. And I'm going to do the fourth bar, which can still be done. What you need to do is try to form a bar here, um, which shouldn't be too hard, and then form this like a 7x7, seven seven, um, well no, it's not exactly like a 7x7 seven seven fourth bar, but I guess you should be able to do this, so with this piece if I rotate it up, and bring this over, and bring it back down, and this piece I can hide it, bring this here, and unhide it. And this piece here, I can rotate this here so that I can join it, bring it out, and do that. And we have this last piece which we can hide, bring this here, and bring, do that. So just remember that when you're hiding pieces, don't bring up anything solved. So let's insert this bar. And let's talk about when you have to do algorithms. So, you have to do algorithms on your bar to solve the inner pieces if both of these inner bars are solved and you can't bring them up. So, on this bar we need to do an algorithm for the inner pieces because the, both of these inner bars are solved. So, unless the, the inner pieces were together, we would have to do an algorithm. I don't see any two inner pieces for the next bar together, so we will have to do one algorithm. But basically form as much as you can. This is how you identify if you have to do algorithms or not. So this piece, if I hide it, so I'm going to work on this bar. If I hide this piece, bring it here, and unhide it, I have these three pieces solved. And to get a corner center here, I can't bring it up like this, as you can see. So... What I'm actually like to do is bring it up and replace it with this one, bring it out, bring this down, then rotate it here. Now we can hide it, bring this, and then bring it back. So you'll get used to doing this kind of trick. And this piece, if we hide it, rotate this here, and bring it back, we will have solved as much of this bar as we can. And let's look at this last bar before we start doing our algorithms. We have the one of these pieces solved and no two together, so we'll have to do down for this piece. And for the inner pieces, we haven't solved any, and we can solve one. So, what I usually like to do to solve one piece is to, if both of them are, if both of like the corresponding bars are solved, you can solve one of the pieces, but not two. 
So you can solve the inner piece of the last bar even though both of them are solved by bringing it opposite these. So let's say it was adjacent. You want to bring this one opposite to these. So by hiding this layer, bringing this here and bringing it back. Or if it's here, replacing it, bringing it up two times and then bringing this back down. And once the piece that you can't solve both types of unless they're together is opposite here, what you can do is rotate both of the inner layers up, rotate this two times, and bring the inner layers down. And now, because we have both of these bars solved, and these pieces here, and one of these are, are solved, and we have these bars solved, and one of these are solved, this is all we can do for the last bar. And now, how do you figure out what algorithm you're going to do for a particular type of piece? Well, you align the two in conjunction to each other, then you ask yourself the question, how many over and how many down? In this case, it's three over and two down, three over and two down. So let's call three A and let's call two B. So it's gonna be A over and B down, and then the algorithm is to turn the eighth right layer anti-clockwise, the front clockwise, the beef right layer anti-clockwise, the front anti-clockwise, the eighth right layer clockwise, front, the beef right layer clockwise. So this applies to any n by n by n cube. And I will do an example of solving these last two centers on the nine by nine. So here we have four over and three down. So we're gonna use the fourth and third right layers for our algorithm. Now let's do the nine by nine. So here's our green side. This time we have a blue center, so we can actually see that really easily. So we're gonna try to form this middle green bar. I see this piece which can rotate if we do a slice move. If we rotate the bar out of the way, we can restore our red center. Next, this piece is a piece that will go here if we hide it, rotate this bar here, and then unhide it. That forms our center bar. Now, um, I see this piece here, and I see these three pieces. If I join up these three pieces, rotate it out of the way, and then bring this back in, that forms part of our bar. And if I go here, I see these two. If I join it up, rotate it out of the way, then bring this back down. That forms another part of this bar, and I see this piece here, and I can do the same. So generally, with building last two centers, you will get some lucky cases, because half of the pieces will be solved on average. Okay. Now, I'm going to form this bar, and I see 1, 2, 3, 4, plus this one. So I need a piece that goes here. I see one right here. And it can rotate to this slot if we hide it, bring this here, and then unhide it. And now we just need our last piece, which can go from here to here. If we hide it, bring this here, then unhide it. And now we can insert our bar. There are a couple ways to insert it. It really doesn't matter. Should be a easy task. Okay, now I see these three pieces plus these two. I join this, them up, rotate it out of the way, then bring this back down, then I'll be good. And I see these pieces that can go on the outer bar, they're trapped on the green side. So if I replace them with the bar I'm working on, rotate them out of the way, bring this down, I will have more stuff to work with. And I didn't form the middle piece, we don't have any uh, unsolved middle bits that we can bring up, but because it's only one piece, I can do the trick I showed you on the eight by eight. So I see this middle piece. If I hide it, bring this here, and then unhide, I will have brought the middle piece opposite here. So if I rotate it up, bring this up two times, and then rotate it back, then the middle piece will be solved. And I see... Um... This piece on the bottom that can go up here, if I rotate it up, out of the way, and back down. 
now I can insert the bar and um <coughs> yeah so next I'm gonna work on a bar here and this is gonna work like a seven by seven we're gonna start with these then these then these so I can make these three if I hide this um bring it here so that I can hide this piece in the back bring this over and then unhide and next I see this piece here which I can bring it up out of the way and then back down and next over here I see this piece here if I rotate it up out of the way and back down and this piece here I can do the same and so basically um the bar is only impossible to form if you have two bars um, formed, already solved, that are symmetrical to each other, like these two or these two, and the and this and the um, the corresponding layer, the, that corresponding layer for the bar you're forming, the two pieces on that corresponding layer aren't um, in the right positions to each other. So here now that you've solved two bars on this layer. Um, only if I can find, that means I won't be able to solve both of these pieces, these inner ones, for my next bar, unless I can find two that are solved in their positions like this. I found one that's already solved, and it's impossible to form the second one. However, these two, which are still possible, I can bring them up, out of the way, and then back down. And then this one, I can bring it, wait, oh, no, that's the wrong type of piece. Oof, how am I going to do this? Ah, here I have a similar problem where this piece is at strata at the bottom and it can't rotate up. What I re remember what I did is I replaced it with the bar I'm working on, rotated it once, then brought this back down, rotated it again twice so that I can hide this, bring this here, and then put it back. And I can solve this last piece if I rotate it here, hide it, bring this here, and then put it back in insert. Now let's form the last bar. I don't see any pieces like this or like this that are solved to each other and when forming these last few bars you do need to start from the middle piece. So we want to solve one of these pieces um, from here. So we so try to bring one opposite. I see one here so if I hide this piece bring it opposite and unhide I can now put this here if I bring up both of these layers, rotate this two times, and bring this down, and that joins up one of these types of pieces with this one. We can only join one because both of the corresponding layers are solved. Next, I can um, put in one of these types of pieces. And this one is not opposite, so one of these second pieces, because both of these second bars are solved, so I can only put one. So if, if I take the bar I'm working on, hide it, bring this piece opposite it, and then unhide it, I can take both of these second layers, rotate the top layer two times, then rotate the second layers back down, and... Wait, what? And then, oh yeah, I'm working on this outer bar. And now you have one of these types of pieces solved and one of these, even though it's impossible to solve both because this, these were solved and we didn't have any two of pieces like this solved. I'll show you what I mean. I might do a short little clip. Okay, now the corners are possible because we have a free space. Take this corner, hide it, bring this here, and bring it back down. And now we can insert this bar and do our algorithms. Okay, so here we have a case where because both of these middle bars are solved, we can only solve one of these pieces on our on this second last bar. But can we? I see two of them that are in the correct positions compared to each other, so like next to each other like this. If they're like that, then you can solve two of them, even if both of these bars are solved. So basically, in this case, um, 
I have this middle piece and these two soft and pages into each other middle pieces. So what I can do is hide this middle piece, bring them here and then unhide. That brings these pieces opposite this one. So if you bring both of these up, rotate this two times and then bring this down, that will solve them, even though technically it, we should have to do an algorithm for one of these. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I kind of like kind of a tutorial, it's not really because I'm just helping you with your last two centers. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um now you should be able to solve any N9 cube unless I'm bad at making tutorials.